of Indianapolis is joining a national effort to stop killing shelter animals for space. It's an issue the Call 6 investigators first exposed in 2011. Kara Kinney joins us now with efforts underway this week. Kara. That's right, Erica. Starting tomorrow, Indianapolis Animal Care and Control will join animal groups to sponsor five days of reduced pet adoption fees and other bonuses. It's all leading up to June 11th, also known as Just One Day, a nationwide initiative asking shelters to stop killing healthy, adoptable animals for just one day. <laughs> More than 15,000 animals come into Indianapolis Animal Care and Control on South Harding Street every year, and just under half are euthanized. But numbers obtained by the Call 6 investigators show the numbers are improving. Last year at this time, 2,300 animals were euthanized. So far this year, 2,100. 2,000 is 2,000 too many, so uh, it's still a number that we need to uh, address and improve on. We would like to see no animals brought here, quite frankly, especially adoptable animals. In 2011, the Call 6 team exposed the city's animal overpopulation problem and the sad result, thousands of animals killed for space. But ACC Chief Dan Shackle says these days, most animals are euthanized for health or behavior reasons. Very rarely for space. Okay, and what does that say to you? Um, it says that the whole community is trying to come together to um, help us in our situation here. Starting Friday, the shelter will reduce adoption fees to $50, and people adopting two cats will receive the second for only $25. It's important because we want to try to get as many animals out as possible. On Tuesday, June 11th, the shelter and animal groups will join a national effort to stop the killing for just one day. And by the way, just one day is not the time to surrender your animal to animal care and control. And quite frankly, we're asking people not to surrender their animals. Animal Control participated in just one day last year and did not euthanize any animals for space on that day. Organizers say the hope is that if shelters nationwide can stop the killing for just one day, they can do it for two days, then a week, until no more animals are euthanized for space. Kara Kenny, RTV6.